Hey, what's going on, guys? You're welcome back with a brand new video into my channel, Apex. So, guys, here today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how can you boost up your FPS and increase the performance of your overall PC. And, guys, if you have the low end PC, so I'm going to show you guys how can you get the best performance or the maximum performance of your PC. And also, you guys, you can overclock your performance of your GPU. Guys, this will not do any harm on your GPU, on your hardware. So, guys, this video is really help out you to boosting up your FPS or your gaming performance on your own PC. So just make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification, therefore you never miss out any next future video update from my this channel. So guys before starting out this video you need to just simply download this boost pack. I will give you the link of this boost pack into the descriptions of this video. So just go onto my website and download this boost pack. Just simply click on the download button. So guys just after downloading this boost pack you need to just simply open up this folder and here is two files. First is the game file game booster and second is the third stop. This is for your GPU and this is for your Cobra PC. So just double click here and install the game file software. It will check for your update of your PC and just after checking out it. So just after installing out it, uncheck the view game file and leave note. Check mark here onto the launch game file and just click finish and launch out the game file booster. And from here guys, here it is the turn on game mode and let me show you all the game which is installed on my PC. When you just click here for the scan for the game, so it will automatically scan out here into this list. But still if it will not show you here, so just go into the add game, go for the game launcher path or the URL, you need to just simply click on this button. Select out the Fortnite, click OK, click OK again, now go for the add game again, click on this folder, Apex Legends, click OK again and just click OK. Just after bringing out it here, you need to just simply click here on the turn on the game mode. When you click on the turn on the game mode for the, all the processes which are running in your background will be closed and your GPU and your CPU is give the maximum performance for your specific game which you are playing. So guys, just after doing this step, it will here also show here the process optimizer, system optimizer and system diagnostic. So guys, you need to just simply go into my game sections and just simply turn on these options and just after turning it on, just to minimize the software and it will be running in the background. So just now go for the next step and here is the next and the most important step to guys fixing out the bottleneck of your GPU and also your CPU. So guys, go into the push pack again. Here is the throttle stop file, just simply right click here and extract it by using the WinRAR. I will also give you the link of this WinRAR into the descriptions of my next video. So just download the WinRAR and install out the software and just simply extract the file from my push pack. So just here is the throttle stop 9.2.2. Open up this one, here is the throttle stop. You will not need to install this software, just simply right click here, run this as administrator. So sometimes it will show you some of these errors which is the throttle stop is capable of significantly changing the performance and the heat output of many Intel CPUs. Use of throttle stop is at your own risk. So guys, it will just simply giving you the warning, so just leave it out. It is just wasting of the time. So just here is the performance. You will see here some profile which is the performance, game and here is the internet and here is the battery. So guys we need the best performance for gaming so simply just simply click here on to this button which is the game. So it will also show you some detail here of your CPU and also for your GPU. So just check mark here for the high performance. Here is the clock mode, you don't need to just simply click onto this one. Here is the stop data, so just leave out all the files. So guys, just after doing out the setting, just simply click onto the save button and turn it on. Now click here onto the save button again. Minimize the software and it will also run in your background. So just after doing out this step, now you need to just simply go for the directory where you have installed the Fortnite or any other game which you play on your PC. Like for the CSGO, in my last previous old videos I'll show for the Fortnite but into this video I will show it for the Counter Strike. Go to this PC, go for the G Drive, here is the stream folder, go into the stream apps, common and here is our Counter Strike Global Family. Just open up this folder and here is the directory of the CSGO. 
So just right click here, go for the properties of your any game agree file which you have GTA 5, Fortnite, Apex Legend, any other game guys you have on your PC. For just simply boosting up, you need to just go into the compatibility sections, check mark here onto disable full screen optimization, change high DPI, click here onto the overwide high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performance by the application, select here the application, click OK, apply the settings, you click OK again. Now just simply close out this folder and now we are going to do some optimizations for our window settings. So guys just simply go to the window icon, go for the window settings. From here you need to just go into the gaming sections, turn off the Xbox game bar, go for the captures and you can also just turn it off. Go for the game mode and make sure guys turn on the game mode on your window settings. But before it make sure you have the latest update of the windows already. For just checking out it go for the update and security. It will take some time to loading it on your screen. So just go into the delete optimizations, go back into the windows update. It will do some problem on the PC so therefore it is not showing by the screen but it will take some time to show you it up. So guys here it is. So I have the update so I will just update it and just after updating all of this stuff go back on your PC and just go into the privacy tab. Go for the background applications. You will see here the background apps options. Just turn off all of the background applications from here. Just after doing out this tab, just close out it. Now go for the window search and just type here power option. So guys, when you type power into the search bar, so here it will show you power and sleep settings. Go into this one. Go for the additional power settings. From here you need to just simply create our apex boost power plan. So just for creating out it, just click here on to create a power plan. Click here on to this high performance, name it as apex boost and just click on to the next button and it will create a best power plan for you which is the apex boost. Just select out it, just close out this window and enjoy the best performance of your PC on your low-end hardware. So guys, I hope so this video has really helped out you to guys boosting up your FPS. So guys, make sure to guys subscribe and also like this video and also tell me in the comment section what are you thinking about this video and if you have any type of questions, you guys tell me in the comment sections and you can also join me onto the Discord server. The link of my Discord server into the descriptions of this video. So just go there and here is my Apex Discord server. So just join out it if you have any type of problem so you can just share your problem here and I will fix out your problems. So guys I hope so this video really helped out you. So guys till the next video Allah Hafiz and bye bye.